Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Souls. Today I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes of a little photo shoot that I put together with my little brother who also happens to be a photographer. We're sitting in my garage right now and if you keep watching, you get to see how I created this backdrop behind me. Here's a basic sketch that I drew out before I got started. I started off by getting two really long pieces of paper. You can get these on rolls at like Michaels or art supply stores and I tape them together and then I tape them onto the wall and I had to have a little 90210 on in the background to keep me entertained. Next, I started to draw the outline of the film strip. You can't see it, but I promise you it's there. Next, I started painting the film strip with black acrylic paint. I used acrylic paint for the entire process. And altogether, this entire backdrop build took me about three days to do. Now I'm painting the The End portion of the film strip. This was inspired by the end title card from RKO Radio Pictures, although most of the major studios around the early days of cinema had a very similar font and design for their ending title card. And there's my dad. Once I finally finished the film strip, it was time to put up the pink paper and then draw the clouds and paint them. This part took longer than I thought because the white paint is so thin that I had to do a few extra coats to make sure that it was thick enough. Doing the shading on the clouds was a little bit difficult. At first, I wanted to do something that felt a little bit more realistic, but it wasn't turning out right, so I went with the more cartoonish approach. I had to do some trial and error, painting over things and starting over again, but all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. And here's the final product. Now I've ditched my overalls for a fancy outfit and a full face of makeup, and my hair is actually a wig that I styled myself. I used hot rollers and pin curls to achieve this look and a lot of hairspray, and I followed the roller set pattern that Lauren Bacall used in the 1940s. Huge shout out to my little brother for taking some amazing pictures, you guys. He is only 16 and he is self-taught, so he's kind of a genius, not to brag or anything. You'll see in a moment that when he edited the photos, he went with a very soft, kind of frosty filter that replicates that beautiful soft glow that you saw in old Hollywood movies when they did close-ups on the actresses. Here are a few of my favorite photos from the shoot. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this backdrop and I plan on making some more in the future. Make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to follow Gold Souls on Instagram if you want to see some more photos from the shoot. See you next time.